Hi, this is Linda from No Frills ASMR. I thought today we could go over how to address an envelope. I know most people nowadays are sending text messages um, of thanks when you get a gift. But sometimes if you get a special gift or a valuable gift, you might want to spend a little time and write a thank you note on paper. Or if you have somebody who's having a new baby and you want to put a gift card in there. So I just thought we could go over real quick how you address an envelope. So this corner up here is where you have the sender address. So if you're sending it, that would be your address. Over here is where the stamp will go. And that pays for postage to get your letter sent through USPS mail, which is United States Postal Service. And here in the center is where you will put the recipient's address. Okay, I think I spelled that right. <laughs> My spelling has become an issue. <laughs> I didn't think about it much before now. <laughs> All right, so we'll actually address this out. Let me um, just clean this off real quick. All right. So we're pretending that this is a letter. A, um, sorry, an envelope. So like here, this is a nice envelope because they're called security envelopes. And the thing with these, they have this blue check. And what that does is make it so people can't see through it. So if you have something private or a payment, you might want a security envelope so nobody can, you know, kind of hold it up to the light and look through it. And this one has a peel away strip so you don't have to lick. I don't know if any of them still lick. <laughs> Did you ever see this Seinfeld? I don't know if people have seen Seinfeld as much as they used to, but there was an episode where one of the guys, George, kind of wanted out of his engagement and his fiance sent off the wedding invitations and licked all the envelopes. <laughs> and it ended up poisoning her and killing her. And it was funny. <laughs> that sounds dark, but it really wasn't. Anyway, so this is a security envelope. <laughs> oh, I took it out to show you something and then forgot. So when I'm showing you this, I mean this. So your stamp is going to go over here. Your or I keep saying the wrong sender will go here, and the recipient goes right in the center. So that way. Okay. So first, you want to put your name. So let's say your name is Pat Smith. And then you need your address. So let's say it's 12, 12 um, Pine. Now you can write street. It will get there. But you can also write the abbreviation for street. And if you don't know what the abbreviations are, well, I'll go over a few. But you can always look those up on USPS's website if you need to. And then you can write the uh, town, the city, and state. So let's say, um, I don't know, where's this person from? Uh, Hooverville. And we'll say Michigan. So you put the, uh, sorry, that was sloppy, the two letter abbreviation for your state and you can look that up too um, and then 
you can put the, if you have room, you can put the zip code here, but generally it would go here. <clears throat> I'm just going to make up a zip code. I don't know. Three, seven, three, seven, three. And then they do now have an extra four digit zip code. If you don't have that extra four digit, it's still going to get there. <clears throat> that just kind of places it even closer. But you can look those up on the uh, USPS website too, I believe. <clears throat> and then you put the recipient here. So we'll make it Eddie. Eddie Munster. Eddie Monster, 1313, Mockine, Bird. And then you could write Lane, <coughs> but you can just write L-N for Lane. And then, um, I don't know, we'll put him in Beverly Hills. And then the abbreviation for California, CA, uh, 90210. And then you could look up the extra digits. I don't know. I'm just making something up. And then here, your stamp and that's it you can take that letter to the post office spank it on the butt and send it out so stamps well actually hold on I can show you <coughs> most of the stamps you buy now are gonna be forever stamps and that means they're valued at I think the current postage is 66 cents for a one ounce letter and these will be worth that much. And then if they raise the cost, it'll be worth as much as it costs to send a first class letter forever. That's what I called forever. So that's good to get the forever ones. If your letter, like this one, this is a cute little birthday card with a kitty cat that says happy birthday and there's a rainbow. Here's to a perfect day full of rainbows and fun. This is from Aldi. I think they're $1.99 at Aldi. I like them. You take it, you peel this, and you take it out of here. But it still might be just heavy enough that it'll need two stamps. <coughs> Where'd I put my pen? So if you end up having to use another stamp, put it right next to this one. Oh my goodness, that's my guy. He looks crazy there. <laughs> and if you needed another one, you put it, so you just line them up. <coughs> All right, I think that's pretty good. I'll show you a couple cards here. These ones are from Trader Joe's. And I like their cards. They're cute and they're only 99 cents. So this one says a tiny new baby with their tiny little toys, tiny little clothes, 10 tiny fingers, and 10 tiny toes. Congratulations. a lot and then oh baby and that one says oh so happy for you these are all Trader Joe's hello baby the world's been waiting for you a 
with all these cute little piece shirt. Love, love, love. One of a kind. We're all awesome. <laughs> this one's cute. And this one says, congrats. So egg sighted for you. It's got a little egg. Oh, this one I like too. Look at this. this is so cool looking. Let me pull this out. This one says thank you. And it has all these super colorful fun mushrooms. And then it says so mush. <laughs> I just like the art. you one other card. Hold on. <coughs> I'm so sorry. My throat lately. I don't know what's going on. Look how sad this guy looks. My son bought this at a at an estate sale. He bought a whole bunch of them. And this is the only one left. But I was like, it's so sad. <laughs> so he sent one to his grandma and he's like, I know the owl looks sad, but I thought it was so cool. <laughs> and she wrote back and said, I think it's cool too. He said, my mom said it was too sad to send. <laughs> but anyway, this one makes me laugh. She says, wow, I get to give birth and change diapers. <laughs> that one's funny. I sent, I sent this off at some point. And this one I sent to my girlfriends. Hurrah, at last I'm 40. <laughs> Happy birthday. That's funny. Has anyone seen my ornaments? I don't think I ever used one of these. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. All right. And this one's a um, Dante Gabriel Rossetti. I, I kind of think he's cool. <laughs> the pre Raphaelites. Kind of interesting. Yeah, look, I have. Anyway. All right. Let's go over real quick the different, um, like, abbreviations for street names, and then we can just cut them up. <laughs> cut a rug. All right, so... Part of why I'm doing this, I sell online a lot, and when people fill out the form, for me to send them a package or as a gift. I can't, I can't explain to you how often I have to follow up because they don't put a street name or a number address. Like they'll leave off this or this or the city. <laughs> and I don't know why. I sell through Etsy. I don't know why Etsy allows that to go through and doesn't give them a error message, but they do. <clears throat> anyway, okay. So if you need to write apartment, you can write A, P, T. And then you don't need to put a number. You just say apartment three or whatever. Because if you start putting things like a number, that might cause an error in the system for the USPS. Or if you put, how do you write in Amper? Like a, oh my God, I can't do it. I would have no idea. <laughs> nope. Uh, I can't think how to write it. Wait a minute, I got to try one more time. Is that it? Like for and? I think USPS won't allow this in their computer system. So if you put like, Oh, that's something else. If you are writing to a couple, how many of you right now are like, don't write with your Sharpie? <laughs> that's what I'd be thinking if I were watching. <laughs> okay, what you're supposed to do is like put, if you're writing to Joe and Jane Munster, you put her first. So Jane and Joe. 
And if you're real old fashioned, they used to write Mr. and Mrs. Joe Munster. <laughs> now, after I first got married to Joe Munster, somebody sent me a message, a, a card that said Mrs. Joe Munster. And that's real old fashioned. And I'll be honest, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> I took his name, but I didn't mean to take it, the whole Joe Munster name. <laughs> and no, our name's not really Joe Munster. Anyway. <laughs> but that is, I mean, some very old people might write it that way. I think that's out of style. Okay. Anyway, that's beside the point. All right. So for streets, you could have street, S T. You could have road. R D. We already did lane, right? L N. Um uh, ta -ta. I guess oh drive. Court. Terrace sometimes comes up. <clears throat> A square. S Q Boulevard. Boulevard. That's the only really four four letter one I think um what am I forgetting anything place maybe pl for place Did I do? let's see road lane junction that one didn't come up much um highway I guess some people And then there's P.O. Boxes. And you'd put P.O. Box and then like whatever the number is. Oh, that's something else. Okay, hold on. One other thought. All right, if you're writing to them, let's not, I don't like that. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so let's say Joe lives at um, 12 Pine, Pine Street, and he lives in an apartment. Then you'd put 12 Pine Street, you put the street first, and then say apartment four. So it'll go the name, the street, the apartment, the town, the city, and then the zip code. I'm trying to think if there's any other. I don't think so. And if you are going to the post office, sometimes they'll type in the address. And if you have too much here, if you have like two people, like Mr. Joe Munster and, you know, Jane um, Cat. This will be too many letters, and they're going to make you shorten that. So, just so you know, you might want to shorten it. <laughs> okay. Let's see, is there anything else here? I would say with a stamp, these are worth 66 cents, like I said, and they'll hold a one ounce letter, and it can't be more than a quarter of an inch thick. So, like, this is going to be fine. But if you start getting into like this, this might be okay. You might have to ask. But if they get any bigger than this, you're probably going to have to use a stamp and then some other stamp. They have lesser value stamps, like 10 cent stamps you might need. But you can bring it to the desk at the post office and ask if you don't know. Or if you're just like, I just want to drop it, you can just stick two stamps on it. They'll get it there. And this, this, you can't fill it so full of papers or whatever that it gets above a quarter of an inch. If it does that, then you have to um, send it as a package. And it'll cost like mm, maybe $4, I think. Um, all right, we'll cut these while I think if there's anything else. <laughs> I know 
one thing I'd say is people, you know, get mad when the price of stamps go up. But honestly, I'm kind of shocked <laughs> that they can still, like, take a letter like this that I write in and fill out and put 66 cents on it. And they will get this all the way, you know, across the country <laughs> in two days. I think that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> you almost feel like you should have to pay more for that service. I'm never exactly sure how P.O. boxes work. Like, I guess you need an address before it. You have the address of the post office, I guess, and then the P.O. box number. I'm not even sure this is written correct. I, I'd have to look up P.O. box, actually. But I'm sure if you have one, you know. <laughs> they probably tell you when you get it. Street. Oops. What is this? Lane. P.O. Box Terrace I think a lot of like townhouses <coughs> are in Terrace or Courts Court Drive Highway Junction Petico Junction Place Boulevard and Square. I can't think any others. I know there are. I'm sure somebody will come up with something. All right, I think that's all I can think of, you guys. If you have any other thoughts on uh, envelopes or, or just anything at all, I don't care. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me. All right. I think I might actually film another more quiet video right after this because I have some vintage games. I kind of want to look through and see if they have pieces, so I thought I'd do it on camera. So I might do that. I don't know if I'll be able to load that today or tomorrow. But, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon.